Alrighty guys, this right here is a Briggs & Stratton 300E uh, push mower motor. And I'm taking two and making one. This one here, through its rod, uh, I don't have the piece laying here, I don't think. Well, there's the old piston out of one of them. But uh, this one here, it was all mangled. But the block and the, uh, what do you call it, uh, cylinder looked all right. Um, there's oil everywhere. I'll have to clean that up with some carb spray and a rag later. But this is a Briggs 300E. There's my oil bucket that I use to oil everything up so it slides in there. There's the teeny tiny piston. This is the smallest motor in my 20 years that I've been doing this. This is the smallest motor I've ever took a chance on rebuilding. Um, even though this ain't a legit rebuild in a way it is, I'm using parts of another motor putting in this motor. Uh, you can call it rebuilding if you want, but I call it rebuilding. It's the equivalent to it. It's the same concept. It's either going to work or it's not. A lot of times when you rebuild one of these motors, I've rebuilt riding mower motors, stuck them on there, turned the key, and went clunk.